Hi, my name is uh, Etienne Sanson from Robotic and welcome to the lesson on the safety of the robotic pelletizing solution. Please consult our ebook on risk assessment below this video to have a step-by-step -step procedure on how to perform risk assessments. In our example, you can see that we have identified four main risks for our operator. First, collision when grasping boxes. Uh, then there are possible collision with the robot moving boxes around. Third, we have dropping boxes. And last, we have collision with the seven axis. You can see in our first table that without any safety measure, we have found that the seven axis is a significant risk to the operator, while the box moving and the box dropping are high risk. We have decided to reduce them with the following. Collision from motion will be reduced or stopped with our safeguarding. The seven axis will be completely stopped using safeguarding, thus the risk is eliminated. For part dropping, we have decided that steel tool cap should be worn by our operator since in our scenario we manipulate 8 kg boxes containing rigid objects. The second table shows leftover risk. You can see that we have eliminated them. With this risk assessment in mind, we have designed the robotic palletizer with four modes. The normal mode, safeguard mode, protective stop mode, and finally the emergency stop mode. After the operator starts the cell, the robotic palletizer runs in normal mode. During this, the robot will fill your pallet and the indicator light will be green. Once it's filled, the light indicator will turn blue. It's time for the operator to go change pallets. The cell should enter a safeguard stop to protect the operator and the indicator light will be yellow. At this point, the operator needs to tend the cell and get a filled pallet and place a new pallet. Note that while no pallet is present, the indicator light will be yellow. Once the operator exits the cell, it resumes in normal operation mode. Protective stops are triggered by the robot in some condition. For example, if you have an unexpected collision while handling your boxes. If this happens, the robot and the seven axis will be stopped and the indicator light will turn red requiring troubleshooting. Emergency stops should only be used for emergencies. It should not be used as a safeguarding method during normal operations. When triggered, both the seven axis and the robot will do a complete stop category one with power removal for a stop category zero. Indicator light will turn red, requiring troubleshooting. Note that if troubleshooting is required, the cell should be in safeguard, e-stop or simply stop from the teach pendant. Troubleshooting should only be done by trained technicians. The robotic palletizer is intended to work with safeguarding. Various setups for safeguarding will be explained later on. Whatever the setup used, the safeguarding device will trigger the safeguard stop of the cell. Upon that trigger, the robot will stop its motion and hold its position. That's a stop category two, a software controlled stop. In parallel to this, a relay sh will shut down the seven axis to stop category one and then stop category zero. This basically means that the seven axis will decelerate to a complete stop and then its power will be turned off. If for any reason, the seven axis is not stopped within 500 milliseconds, power will be turned off rapidly to obtain a stop category zero. Once the safeguard stop is removed, normal operation will resume. In down-to-earth language, this means that when the operator comes in the cell, the cell will stop. When he is done with the pallet change, the operator needs to exit the cell. The cell will restart automatically if safety scanners are used. If light curtains or safety interlocks are installed, the cell will need a manual restart. This restart can be a green start button on the outside of the cell, for example. 
As you can see in our risk assessment example, the palletizer commonly requires safeguarding. This choice makes sense to allow the operation of the palletizer with maximum performance when no operator is present, while being safe when the operator is present. That's it for the Cobot palletizing cell safety lesson. See you next time to continue your Cobot cell integration together.